safe. Without safe, the foundation will not be safe. You keep that in your mind because there are so many um, functions are there in the safe uh, as a software. Uh, those functions are absolutely not available in any of the other softwares. Not even ETABS, not even SAP 2000. That is why without safe, foundation will not be safe. So many people they say that even 10 years experienced people done MTech from different uh, uh, topmost educational institutions they are saying that we are managing the foundations only in ETAPS. Is it possible to manage? Answer is yes. You can do the preliminary design, analysis, modeling analysis, design, stability checks. You can detail also and you can give that drawings to the site also. But there are so many things that you will miss out if you are not using the software called SAFE we are going to study exactly why the safe is required when it comes to the operational level right now it is hardly some 1040 it has come 1038 is the time by 11 o'clock you will be trained operational levels by 11 o'clock everybody will be properly skilled and trained why it is so tricky because it is very easy to handle or operational level is very very easy. 20 minute may seek jao gaya. 20 minutes is enough for you to understand. Or I need to train you. But conceptual level, pure bal safed ho jate, phir bhi kabi kabi gadbad ho jati hai. Why it is like that? So much of experience you require to understand various different factors of structural engineering. You need to consider shallow foundations, deep foundations, stability checks of the superstructure, substructure, soil structure interactions, nonlinear analysis. There is a water engineering which is hydrology. There is a earth science which is geotechnical engineering. There is a geology which is a soil mechanics. So you have to depend upon many other areas and ultimately everybody may fail to certain extent. Nobody can give 100% accurate results. That's why they call it as Bhumi Puja. Ek puja hi kar dete hai taki the the end responsibility lies with somebody else <laughs> palayan vad anyway majorly i'll tell you whatever the exact science are there we can respect that we can go ahead with that but certain sciences are even today those are hypothetical science um the foundation engineering you need to first of all deal with the property which we call it as the point property you know there are three types of elements are there as i told you primarily there are two types but yes secondary wise if you consider there are three types one is line element area element and point element so based on these three points there are different types of spring elements are there one is point spring what do you mean by the point spring it is please understand i'll give you some time to write it down first one is what point spring what do you mean by point spring it is the p vertical force coming onto the structure divided by the delta p divided by the delta is known as stiffness p upon area is known as stress understood if you are giving the injection somewhere you will see that at that particular place of your skin the skin will get red in color because it is under stress so how to define the point spring area springs and all it's very simple 
you go to the define springs point spring line spring area spring you put the values say okay matter is over understood so operational level as i told you please do not take tension so this is the line spring like that you will have different types of springs now what is the spring mean spring means it is the force which is actual force the force that is linear force or maybe the force that is acting as a aerial basis on this like kilonewton per meter square on this divided by how much amount of settlement is happening to the different type of spring so spring constants are generally considered to be non linear in behavior do you agree let us say example i am trying to tell you this is the road in which there is a hump and this is you know your two wheelers wheel is going in this direction this is the axle and on the top there might be the shock absorber this is also one type of spring we call it as the shock absorber so when this goes here this wheel will be slightly going to the upside there is some amount of weight is there your self weight the vehicle self weight will be there from the upper flow to down which leads to the compression of this particular spring which is non linear do you agree so this vehicle will go to this portion and it will start compressing it and this will reduce the spacing between this the spacing reduction will not be linear in form what is linear means the forces elongation contraction will be completely linear in nature means you know the cross multiplication uh, in 100 rupees you are getting let's say 1 kg so in 500 rupees you will get how many kgs this is linear but there are certain let's say the fruits if you are talking about bananas for example 100 rupees you are getting 1 kg of banana 500 kg how many kg bananas you will get so 5 kg but certain bananas are not good they are about to get rotten so the person wanted to sell it off and he wanted to give certain discounted rate if you take higher kgs plus there are certain bananas which are may not be of extremely good quality so he is ready to give you certain discounts in depending upon the bananas that you are choosing so it is a non linear behavior so you cannot add that thing into this equation do you agree in the college days we have dealt with this equation which we call it as the linear stress strain curve now we are actually going to the non linear areas that's why and we need to deal with certain theories principles will those are little linear and you need to do the non linear type of analysis and then come to the conclusive remarks based on the seeing ki, how much it is going up and down so that is the judgment call you need to take there are so many non linear behaviors are there which human intelligence can acquire it if cautiously they can you know work upon it all the other things we need to study that well and we need to come to this particular solution wherein all these things are understandable so 
पॉइंट स्प्रिंग इज पी अपॉन डेल्टा डेल्टा इज नथिंग बट द डिस्प्लेसमेंट नाउ वी आर सींग दैट दिस इज लाइक दिस बट समाइम्स इट इज लाइक दिस ऑल्सो Why? Because this column is under tension. So, if you put the leg onto the soil, for example, this is the you know your leg. This is the marshy land. The moment you put the weight, the soil will start resisting certain force. Do you agree? The force is downward. Reaction is upward. linear theory says that when you take like this it will go like this will it happen you are taking the leg up soil is also going down this is not linear upar jana hai jao niche nahi aane ka if you want to go up go up not allowed to come down this is non linear behavior so compression is there that time i'll behave till linear form to certain extent after that i my capacity is over i cannot go down the resistance is limited all right guys thank you so much ha huh? bye bye